Hey, what is happening guys? Elton here, aka Retro Old School. What the hell is that thing? Is that a bug? Oh no, I think it's a seed. Okay then. Saturday evening here in Montreal. It's almost the end of the month. And it got dark even before 5 o'clock and now it's like 6.30 or something so... I was hesitant to do this since I'm not bursting with energy, but I figured I was already had this file out from my room. I was filled, going through it looking for this particular ad because I bought this frame among other frames days ago and I said to myself, you know what, being old school as I am and a fan of the 50s and Elvis, I said, you know, there's something to do with this pink matting. And I said, I gotta reuse this. I'm not crazy about the frame. You know, and then I was going through my Canadian car ads, as you'll see here, and I found this 57 Chrysler uh, New Yorker, Canadian ad, you know. You just actually see if it says torsion air. Yeah, anyway. There it is, New Yorker, and it's so garish, and it's like, look, it's the exact same pink. I even forgot that, that I had this ad. I was going through the pile of ads that are not sorted, that all the ads that I got from my friend Randy, uh, which a lot of them I've sold, and some of them I just decided they're keepers, you know. Such as this, for example. Well, actually, I might sell this, but again, this is really more for myself because it is a Canadian ad. And, well, actually, I think it's a Canadian ad. Yeah, it says, see, it says right there. Chrysler Corporation of Canada Limited, 1957. You know, I think what I'll do, though, is I'm going to, I think I'm going to paint just this white edge part here, this outer part, uh, silver, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to do something because I find it's missing something. It's missing a little bling, you know. Anyway, so something I'll do after. Oof, it's heavy. Wait, the quality on that. Man, look, at, there's no lack of ads over here, eh? Look at this baby I just framed. This is for sale for any of you bug nuts, you uh, fans of coccinelles. Right here. Look at that. Check that out, eh? Unrelated completely. How cool is that? I don't think the camera's doing a good job on it, though, eh? Anyway from a uh, Volkswagen book. Oh, it's hot in here now. Man, let's uh, take that out. I just framed that last night. 56, 56 Buick. 15 bones. Turn this heat down a little bit. Look at that, that's one of my original photos. Yippers, 1993 STM Nova Classic at Lionel Grew in 2010. Come and get it, 20 bucks, price to sell. Yeah. I don't deliver, by the way, because how do I know I'm somebody I don't even know and never met, and they never met me, they're actually going to show up at the, the Metro or whatever, you know? So, yeah, I keep these between files to keep them perfect. They're in my room. They're they're in my room, so they're not mixed up with all these thousands of ads I have here all over the place, and magazines, and books, and ads, and, you know. Anyway, so, um, so again, these are not for sale. These are keepers. I don't care if you offer me 40 bucks for an ad, I won't sell it. That's because that's how rare all these Canadian car ads are. Like this, for example. The Magnificent Meteor, 1957. Check that out. Look, showing all the models. The, well, actually, almost all the models. Uh, the the four-door sedans, the four-door hardtop, the two-door sedan, the, the Niagara, the Rideau. Or as they say more in the rest of Canada, Rideau. There's the Rideau, top-of-the-line model. Look at that. Convertible. I even seen one of those. That's right, it was the uh, proud uh, of a Canadian car heritage, uh, the editor of Old Auto's newspaper. Uh, and uh, God, it's been so long since I wrote from them, I forgot the name of where they were again. Bothwell, Bothwell, Ontario, that's it. I'm gonna... Anyway, he had one, a convertible. Just It was being restored, just unreal, you know. Especially for somebody like me who never, uh, I was too late for that, I was born in 75, you know. But, you know, it's funny, like, these, the, I got all these, these, all these ads are out of uh, McLean's magazines from, like, 1955 to 61. And look at that, they're just fantastic artwork, fantastic illustrations. Look, that's like a, I guess, a Mayfair or a Regent. Yeah, Mayfair photo art. Though. Look at that. Look at the bulbs on the lights. They're yellow. They're not even, like, you know, cream or something. Now, some of them, there's a few I have in here, actually, they're not really, they're not Canadian cars, they're American cars, but they're definitely very Canadian ads, like this one here, only one color, this red here, Neil Zombie, with dog dish hubcaps, and no white walls, by the way. 
So uh, anyway, my friend Randy in Michigan, who's got over 100,000 car ads, let alone other things, you know, he's been dying to get his hands on this stuff. But it's like, look, you got your stuff you keep. I got my stuff I keep, you know. So uh, and I sure as hell hope you're hearing everything I'm saying because, you know, they don't put the microphone in the right place here uh, on the camera. It's like right. Ugh, I'm going to stop this a second. Anyway, I started watching a few seconds of what I just filmed. I'm like, it looks okay. It's just a paranoia that there's times I film things and it just, I was all muffled like Charlie Brown's teacher there. You know what I'm saying? You know, look at a 56 Plymouth uh, Regent, which of course they were known in other places or even here in Canada as a plodge because the front end was a Plymouth. The rest of it was a Dodge, the sides and the rear end. And again, just like Ford Meteors and Monarchs, they were all... Uh, models that were invented by their uh, companies to, to compete uh, against each other in Canada because Canadians had a lower income uh, than traditionally than Americans. So there you go. You know, you had the choice between a regular Plymouth, an American Plymouth, or a Canadian Plymouth, which was comparatively cheaper. Same thing with this Meteor. Look at this gorgeous 56 Meteor Rideau Sedan. Look at that. Mint. Gorgeous. And like I said, I've been I've been buying. I, well, I didn't say, it, but as you can tell, I've been buying many magazines for many years, and I've never had the the luck of finding so many uh, uh, Canadian car ads in one collection. So uh, everything else was very sporadic. So uh, uh, you can imagine all those magazines. I kept so many other things too that are Canadian ads, not just cars, you know. And then you have one here. Check this out, right? Spark plug ad, Champion. What does it have? A meteor, a meteor redo. Crown Victoria, no less. I just saw a picture of one of these on Facebook. Somebody posted a black and white picture in the 60s, I don't know, 1962, whatever, not there. And look, there's the Monarch. And there, I got a couple of two or three Monarch ads you're going to see in a moment, too. Yep, there it is. One right there, 1959. Extremely rare cars. I've never even, I've seen one. And I'm sorry to say it went to freaking Ontario. I think probably in the 90s, early 2000s. I took a photo of it. Two-door hardtop. Uh, it was a Monarch. Lucerne, I think, and anyway, it was just an outstanding car. It was white with the green here and the, the aqua green roof, and just incredible. Look at this incredible 56 Meteor Sunliner convertible. I'm filming with the phone, by the way, just because uh, a little bit better when it's a bit darker there. It's not grainy. Look at that, yellow and white. Stunning. I mean, wouldn't it be amazing if I could buy a model, a plastic model kit of a Meteor? But unfortunately, a lot of people, no offense, especially Americans, because there's so many of you and you're so diehard in American cars, is I love the American cars. I love all the cars, especially American cars, Canadian cars, but a lot of you diminish the Canadian cars. A lot of you are interested in them, but a lot of you are like, what's a Meteor? What's a Parisienne? Oh, you're the Parisienne. The wrench and it's just a Chevy. You know, like I had a comment from a subscriber recently who I blocked his comments because tired of hearing this rhetoric against what I'm proud of, my Canadian automotive history, which I'll never make again, these cars, let alone Canadian meteors and monarchs and Dodge Regents and so forth. Hey, and look at this. Where are you going to find a meteor, a 59 meteor uh, wagon? Is it a uh, Niagara? Uh, meteor country sedan, nine passenger. I mean, really? What do you think the odds of finding one of those today? Well, you know, it's funny. I'm looking at this and the color looks off. It looks darker than it should be. It's like a shade off. I don't know. I, anyway, maybe it'll look better later. So a lot of these I didn't even actually take out the back the back page because I'm just using it for extra protection. Look at that. Oh, my God. I mean, you want to talk about melting my butter and many other guys. The dream cars. 1958 was really, you know, the, the year of absolute excess in chrome and details. And, here, you know, 58 Pontiac was no exception. I mean, look at this. you got the Parisian convertible. First year for the Parisian. Convertible, no less. And then on top of that, what do you got here? Parisienne Sport Coupe. And like the 59 Chevy Impala Sport Coupe, I just finished the model of, look, it's got that little fake vent thing above the rear window. Did that a couple of years now. So what if it has a 283? Big deal. It's Canadian, for crying out loud. It was made for this market. Some of them in Australia and elsewhere, but not many. You know, I once read that uh, uh, a Pontiac Parisienne in the late 50s, you know, well, 58, 59 and upwards until, uh, I guess, whatever, the late 60s in Australia, they did sell some of them and they were ex as expensive new with those kits coming from Canada, from GM in Canada, those kits, and they cost as much as a Jaguar, you know. 
Look at this beautiful Enigma. Another again, 56 Dodge Regent. Almost sexy red there. A ski Hill. Beautiful, amazing artwork. And if for those of you younger guys you don't know, it was cheaper to pay artists actually to do artworks for these ads than the photos because the photography was so expensive, especially color. Look at that. This is a I don't even I don't think this is really a Canadian ad, but I mean it says McLean's on it. I mean it's a 57 friggin' nomad. 57 nomad. That one goes out to you, Ed. My friend Ed recently traded me his 57 Nomad Ravel model that he built when he was like 30 years ago or more. And I, I gave him a track and traffic magazine uh, with an article about a 63 Corvair um, for him to feast his eyes on and enjoy. Look at that 57 Pontiac Laurentian. I mean, did these things pop or what? But as I was thinking earlier, unfortunately, as I know from many, much experience, you know, the thing, one of the things that's great if you can constantly sell stuff or if I do what I do is if I can't sell certain things after so many months or whatever, then I just, you know, take it apart and put something else in there. And then one of the reasons why I do that too is not only because it's cheaper to keep buying frames all the frames all the time, it's because of the fact that uh, even though if, if the sunlight comes in here, it doesn't directly hit an ad with its bright ultraviolet rays, then the light itself in the room, the brightness will actually, believe it or not, fade this image because the paper is so thin and old. So that's a downside. Again, this one is not necessarily a Canadian ad. I don't know. Um, I never went to look for it on eBay or anything, but it's just fantastic. Look at that. Gorgeous. That, that pink. Uh, that's probably a Chrysler New Yorker interior. 56, 55. Uh, I recognize that very elegant, classy dash. Look at that, just, just amazing. What do you think, Gloria? I think Gloria wants food. Okay, what's next here? We're getting closer to the end. I don't have that many of them, as you can imagine. I'm not. I'm only. I'm only 45 years old. You know. Look at this camera. I don't. know, What is it about cameras in the color green? It shows this thing fucking blue, and it's not blue. It's green, two tone green. Awesome. Again, 57 Plymouth, whereas people call it jokingly Plymouth, uh, but that's a, um, that's a Belvedere. That's funny about that Belvedere in 57, 58 is they had, you know, they were, you know, like this whole styling is exact to like Christine, except that this one here, which is also Belvedere, the, the Christine and, you know, so forth, the Fury, the Belvedere, it, 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 the two-tone continued over here. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, you know. 61, stunning 61 Pontiac Parisienne. But actually, this is more of an, an American ad because I, I think um, I have I have the American version of this, which, of course, the American version of the Parisienne is the Bonneville. It's the exact same picture, right? And it's just stunning. Look at the interiors. I mean, just what a phenomenal time, you know. It's... Uh, you know, I don't own any classic cars because I'm visually impaired. I'm too poor. But the dream is always there to own another one one day, you know. Look at this. They mentioned the Strata Chief and the Laurentian. The Strata Chief being the, the cheapest full-size model. The Laurentian was in between. You know. Look at this here. 56. Look at that. How epic that is. I mean, look at that Ford Monarch sign. Does it get more Canadian than that? If you don't know how to look, know where to look for a good used car, you can buy with confidence, confidence where, confidence, you can buy with confidence where you see these signs. And look at that, there's the 56 Monarch, um, uh, Monarch, uh, well, probably a Richelieu, you know, uh, I guess. Getting closer to the end here. Damn, like I've said it before, these phones, you know, they make great videos, but they're not, they're annoying to hold for a long time, especially when you're doing something else. Look at this, stunning. I have an American version of this. It's the same ad, practically, except the, the Pontiac is red and cream. Look at that. That's amazing. Look, this one is, they made a Canadian. Look, it's written right there in the script, very small, Laurentian. You can barely make it out. Look at that. It's the talk of the test driver. It's just fantastic. Of course, they were boasting the V8 at that time, you know. Um, of course, that's a Canadian model, so it's a, the V8 would be a, a 265 because the 283 came out in 57. And the, the American one, I can't remember. I think the V8 in those years was a, two, was a 287, if I'm not mistaken. 
Look at that little beer rat here. You need beer rats? I got tons of them. Let me know what you want. Look at that. 57 Monarch Convertible. Yeah, man, with the Ontario plate, no less, which is probably photographed in, uh, in Toronto. Very nice. Very nice. Check this one out here. Look at that, eh? 57. 57 Monarch differed from the Mercury because the griddle was different. Also had that V8 there, the V8 emblem. Yeah, very groovy. And to finish with, another Monarch. Look familiar? Oh, it should. Yeah, that's exactly what I painted. So mine in the painting was brown. And then now, of course, I want my friend Scott to see this. He's going to be like gaga over this. He's going to go, hot damn! And there you go. Finished with a very rare. All Monarchs are rare. Most Canadian cars are rare. Not all of them, especially the four-door sedans. But there's certain ones like Monarchs, especially 59, 60, 61. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was no 58 because Canada sold the Etzel, which was new at that time. But the 61, I know there's one in Quebec that's black, and it's a two-door hardtop on top of that. And one day I hope to see the car show if things ever freaking get back to normal. So, thank you uh, very much for watching, and uh, take care. And uh, if you, uh, by any chance, want to send me any extra old magazines, Canadian magazines you have specifically, or old Canadian car ads, hey, please do let me know. Get in touch with me, eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. You can also use that email to send me a gratuity, as I call it. As you can see, I'm just a poor man living in a little, a little apartment here in Montreal East. And my email is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. You can send me something through PayPal or an e-transfer. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. I hope you are satisfied with what you saw. And take care and preserve those antiques if you can and restore them. Bye-bye.